In a previous video, I featured this General Electric P925 AM shortwave radio. And I actually wanted a repair video out of it, but this one happened to work, so it turned into a uh, AM stereo, talking about AM stereo. In the comments on that video, a viewer mentioned that he had purchased three of these radios when they were for sale on a military surplus website and he offered to send me one if I would fix the other two. Apparently the ones that he got did not work. Uh, he said they were very low volume and then a couple years later they were no volume so we know that's probably dried out capacitors. So here's the one that I featured right here which works. This is a new old stock sealed in the box. Or maybe not sealed in the box, but still sealed in the original uh, plastic bar vapor barrier. So here's the manual right here. The exciting world of shortwave radio. And I wasn't super impressed with the performance of this thing. Ooh. Short wave and long wave. So this talks about skip and a bunch of shortwave broadcast that no longer exists. You gotta love the graphics on this old stuff. It's just... Ooh, fluorescent lights and television receivers may interfere with your radio. A bunch of stations that don't exist anymore. Anyway, these radios have an extremely heavy smell, and it took me a while to figure it out, but I think I finally got it. It smells like one of those 1960s, 50s, 60s super pesticides called Chlordane, and Chlordane was one of those pesticides that if you sprayed it around your house, it would kill ants and termites for 30 to 50 years. So here's the radio, and I believe this, I don't know what you want to call this cloth, uh, I don't know what this is, but I believe this is treated with Chlordane or some other hardcore carcinogenic pesticide. And I had heard that these uh, radios were sold on military bases as morale boosters and I've also heard that they were for the survival fallout shelter market. So still sealed in the original package. In this video we're going to repair his radios. We'll do a box opening sometime. This is something that probably does not belong in the house in that package. I remember reading somewhere that military stuff was supposed to be good for 50 year shelf life and that would make sense why they would treat something like like this with I don't know I don't know what kind of bugs eat plastic radios, but I'm sure there are some. All right, here are the two radios that he sent. And these also have a that very strong um, odor of chlordane, whatever it is. Wow, and they're not even wrapped in that plastic.
I guess the glue failed on these too. Oh yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Give me tumors, Daddy. So here's the first one, and boy. Squeaky clean, plasticky, fresh. Look at the look at that. Besides those missing. That is like beautiful unused condition. Wow. Gotta love that squeaky clean. Okay, I'm gonna open the other one. Okay, here's the other one. Same thing, just... I wish he would have included these little inserts. I could have glued them back on. I got contact cement. going on here that one's tight is this one just defective right out of the factory or what geez GE you can't even get your military contract stuff Anyway, let's uh, get some batteries and fire these up. Why does it feel like the tuning condenser is loose in this one? Anyway, look at all that corrosion. That's sarcasm. So I think this these use those little daughter boards and I think these have um, three or three to five capacitors in them that can dry out and they're kind of a bitch to change. Here's number two, and I just checked the batteries, they're good. Man, absolutely quiet. What's going on here? Okay, both of them are like... Yeah, this one's got loose things in it. Both of them are like no power quiet. I'm going to open the one with the loose tuning capacitor first well the damn screws have backed out of the tuning condenser that's kind of interesting um, wow look at how shiny this is inside so glorious mmm has that fresh chlordane smell Look at the transistors are even still shiny. Okay, it looks like the power switch is not conducting. Uh, and here's a tip. If you have an old radio like this and you put it in storage for any length of time, even if it's a month, take the batteries out and turn the power on. And the reason for that is it'll keep the the contacts from corroding because they'll be touching together. It's a lot like if you have an old lawnmower with points, put it at top dead center uh, before you put it into storage because when you put it at top dead center, the same thing, the points close so they can't corrode and also it takes the pressure off the valve springs because the valves are, will both be closed. So you always store your radios with the battery out and the volume on. This is my working radio. You can see we got continuity there. And we got continuity here. And on this one we just have nothing. Mm. 
nothing, completely open. Okay, I'm feeding 3.3 volts and I have a little light bulb there limiting my current and the current draw seems quite excessive. I'm gonna try mine. You know, it, 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 I know it's a little bit of cheating to have one that works to compare to, but why not? So mine works with no light bulb. Okay. I was being a total dunce there. I had the the switch bypassed wrong. Ooh, did, it. did it break through and start cond I bet there's pure silver contacts in this thing and they're just tarnished. I bet the I bet the contacts in this thing are pure silver, and I don't quite know what to do about this. If you suffer from neuropathy, call 855-4-GET-WELL for a free consultation. Okay, let's check out the other one. Okay, this one is the same thing. The power switch is not, neither, neither pole is conducting. I always leave your radios turned on with the batteries out. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to disassemble this. Do I want to disassemble this? This one I have to take apart. This one I might mutilate. I might mutilate this one. I might pull the board off, do the capacitors. Usually I would just cut these capacitors off from the top. But I don't think it really needs capacitors. It doesn't, I mean, it's got plenty of volume. One pansexual child, and also as a leader. And that was the thing that really got me because I have heard so much from so many of my colleagues over the course of the last... I mean, it... it and open forums and through emails and phone conversations and I feel a responsibility to speak uh, not just for myself but for them. To all of us. We, we had a we had an open forum last week at twentieth where seems to have plenty of volume, so I don't know. So if you have one open side on the volume control, the radio works, but it's very low volume. So maybe the maybe the low volume complaint was just one side of the power switch was not. Let's try this one over here. Same thing. This one works. This one is distorting too because uh, they're going to distort because I have the little little light bulb there limiting the current. See the little light bulb? It limits it to about 40 milliamps. Okay. 
for all of us. It's almost a, it's almost a priest to go along. Oh, no. <laughs> work to do two, three, or four than one. It's the same application. And calling for a rate is not enough. The rates change every day. Tell you, this one seems exceptionally sensitive. For now, I'm going to put this one aside. So the question is, do I want to try and open this and clean those contacts? Because they're contacts that touch like this. They don't wipe. So spraying a, a cleaner in there is not going to do anything for something that does this. If they did this, then yes. Do I want to try and disassemble this and clean it? I run the risk of ruining it. The other option is drill a little hole and put a little switch, a little double pole switch, or maybe remove this and have the switch sticking out right here. I mean, that's not ideal, but... Because it looks like... It looks like you have to uncrimp the front, drop the wafer off, and then once you get the wafer out, the volume control wafer, then you can get inside. I don't know. I don't know. that There's a real risk at trying to disassemble that and clean it. I sent a message to the owner and asked him what he would like to do, what route he would like to do. You know, this is, thing is so virgin-y and shiny and untouched that uh, I almost hate to start torquing on it and screwing with it. You know, this is obviously, when GE assembled this, they never screwed this together because the, the screws are down in there, I can see them, but they were just never threaded into the tuning capacitor. So I believe in order to get that out, you have to peel this little... Uh, propeller off the airplane and then there's a screw behind this and, you know once you start once you start on something these are really not made to be worked on once you start you just kind of like it, it's wrecked well I thought that there would be a screw under here but I was wrong I used a piece of tape to get that thing off. Now I gotta get that thing off the piece of tape. So it's just pull off, but it's on there tough. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack the one that the capacitor was not screwed down at the factory. And um, I gotta get it apart to screw the capacitor down anyway. So we'll check the capacitors, we'll do the, vo the power switch. So there are the three screws. It looks like they were just never screwed together from the factory so bizarre okay the board is out this will do a couple things it'll let me see about removing this volume control which is quite well soldered in here um, it'll also allow me to test those capacitors that are on that little extra board because it gives me access to the pins here and what with the schematic, I can kind of probe between the top and bottom and test those capacitors. And yeah, now I just got to figure out uh, what I want to do. Lots of pictures and video, even though we have another unit that we could use um, to know how to put all this hardware stuff back together. I got the volume control out here. Apparently continuing to talk to the owner, there was some success with another one of these he had spraying uh, contact cleaner into the, into the switch, but I don't see how that would work any kind of long term. So let's try and open this very gently. Start by lifting up those tabs. Here's the pot assembly. Here's the switch. Now what I'm afraid of is if I take this apart another step, am I going to have some spring-loaded crap that pops out and goes flying that I can't find? Okay, here's the next level, and this is what I meant by spring-loaded. Make me get my crepe erased, or erase my crepes. So I think I see how this comes apart, and boy, it's creepy. So you got to push this in. you got to push that in and get that off and then 
that springs because the spring is not a lightweight and there you go you can just get this thing apart because that won't come off because you can't turn it far enough to get it up over that little T looking thing so I guess it's just clean this up and maybe maybe uh, contact cleaner would work on this because it's just grease hmm it's not silver I thought it would be silver but it's not it doesn't look like it interesting see where I'm cleaning that off you can see there's like dried grease that's almost turned to plastic in the middle well on the whole thing I just haven't cleaned it all off I actually managed to get it back together and yes there is a scrubbing action to this you can see the peg down there the stationary and here is that little thing we cleaned I actually cleaned the pegs too well I got that all cleaned up and I'm still not getting continuity here uh, intermittently on one side that grease is just so damn old maybe I should maybe I should use some solvent take it back apart use some solvent clean that grease out of there I have completely cleaned all the grease out of this I have completely sanded uh, these little striker things with thousand grit sandpaper uh, polished them and yeah that grease had turned into like a plastic so now I need to try and find some new grease I don't know I don't have any dielectric grease here maybe like white lithium I don't know let me see what I got okay you have your choice here super white multi-purpose grease we know that's got to be bad and then we have grease ordnance extreme pressure what's interesting is this is the same age as the radio from 64 electro molly it's got molybdenum in it let me open that one let's taste it that looks like it probably tastes like grape i think is this conductive should i measure this with the ohm meter Molybdenum's not conductive, is it? Graphite is. You know what? Whichever one I go with is going to be the wrong one, so I'm just going to go with the white one. Because if it's white, it's got to be right, or something like that. All right, it's back together, and it seems like it's working, so now to push it all back. There it is, all back together, and it works. It works good. So now to put it back in the radio. I'd like to check the capacitors in the radio first. Capacitors all test good. They're all uh, under 2 ohms. That one there's like nothing, no ohms. So capacitors are good. There's only, there's two here, one there. This is the AVC capacitor. Capacitors are good. Just to authenticate that I'm not flubbing it here, this is from the what the collector of the first amp to the base of the driver, uh, three and a two and a half ohms. That's good. That's like a one or two microfarad. Then this one from center of the volume control to base of the first audio amp, it's five ohms, but it's half a microfarad. It's it's like yeah 0.5 this one which is the AVC filter 2 ohms it's all back together let's just give it a try here with the meter I'll tell you with that new grease in there it sure has a much more crisp feel to it it's got a much more defined click yep success okay now to reassemble this and uh, this is where our pictures are going to come in handy because this will tell us what exactly went where when I get this back together you'll never be able to tell it was a part okay we're going back together here I push that back on and we got two little slip washers little fiber washers that go in here 
then this goes on I'm trying to be very gentle with this stuff not to scratch so there we go and then this needs to be glued back on this does not have to come on the best way I think to get this apart is to take all the screws off the board and then lay this on its face and forcefully pull it up so that um, this just pulls off okay so here's the moment of truth I put C cells in it it's um People want to do that, and not only do they want to do it, they're doing it. Ember? That's great, because that's not... Cassidy got a doubt on it. Right. Loaded. And uh, I don't want to... I don't want to drop in uh, comfort. Well... That's what I'm looking at. Some of the, from what I understand, some of the retail orders, the people who get their trucks quicker if they drop, were on, uh, you know, a, a national network. But, biggest game in the And this is what happened in 2017. Many people with IUL policies... I should grab mine and compare them. But it came to pass. This one definitely works better than mine. Let me pull the antenna up. Family, there is doubt to the official you know, cause of death that is given by uh, the coroner's office or... Oh, of course. Again, this is not going to be a good shortwave radio because it's it covers from 4 to 12, and that's just way too much. It, Oh, that's interesting. That's fine tuning. I thought that was tone. Really? So we set that in the middle. I thought that was a tone control. On mine, I think it is a tone control. Sideband. Anyway, I'm, let me grab mine. I think, I think this one works better than mine. The first thing you'll notice, this is mine right here, my original one. First thing you'll notice with this is the hiss. Chronicle those experiences. This one has absolutely no hiss. So this one's got a bad germanium transistor in it. So let's annoy everybody here. Come on. What's going on here? Don't even work now? When you're under warranty, so. 
못하다는 것인데요. 여기서의 그래서 I think one of the students, harbor-hyundai.com. Harbor Hyundai is off the 405 in London. Class out earlier. Carry exit, again the website, harbor-hyundai.com. For a Chevy in Southern California, look no further than CarPro certified Rotolo Chevrolet. General Manager Mike Capozzo is not only my friend, but a true professional committed to me. I talked about his faction. Stop by today and see why they're California. They're beside me. My life. Located on South Highland in Fontana, take the 210 freeway. It could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association mm. and the Ad Council. Contact when you go to vote. No. Uno, ocho, Eleven. Participamos de la Santa Cena. Templo por un antepasado que ha fallecido. Testificamos como testigos del Salvador. This one just seems so much more sensitive than than I don't know. Oh. Can't help myself. Hard to tell, you know, they're both very close. See how that one? See how much more sensitivity there is on this one between channels? See? And this one here has less of a squeal than this one does. Yeah, they're very close. You know, without being out in the desert, it's very hard to tell. But that definitely fixed that power switch. You cannot deny that. And yes, I did make an error earlier on the video when I said that it's not a scrubbing action. It is a scrubbing action. But that varnish stuff, that almost plasticky varnish I had to remove with sandpaper, I don't know if contact cleaner will remove that. I mean, it might, but it's, it's a long shot. You'd probably end up washing all the grease out of the set before you did that. I will say this, you can do this. If I can do it, you could do it. But you just got to have, you got to be a patient person and have good magnifying glasses, good tools, and a lot of patience. You know, you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it, I think. You just got to have the ability, something like that. The, what's that word I'm looking for? Persistence. That's it, persistence. I brought the other one out that needs the power switch done. This is the one that I did the power switch in. I put a red dot there to indicate that this power switch has been taken apart and cleaned and lubricated. So this is the good one. Um, I'm gonna let's try spraying this one. Like, okay. Okay. So we got a hole right here. That we can squirt spritzerate into the thing. And I, don't, I mean, nothing is as good as disassembling it and uh, putting new grease, right? P 
period. So a little tiny hole. Let us see what happens here. Getting noise. I think that's only one side of it. Look at the grease is coming out of it onto the... Yeah, what what is your stoppage price? I mean, maybe if you did this like ten thousand times, it would eventually grind that. Measure our voltages here. Zero volts there. This is Jacob Amrani. If you've been in an accident, call eight four four twenty four Jacob. I'm twenty three on Kinex. The first phase of Delta two point five volts there. Two point five volts there. Looks like the switch is working. What's going on? Are the batteries? The hell? We got a bad battery here, or what? Oh, you can't see anything. You're just like Durval. Constituents, you're a constituent. You constituate. Why do we? Why do we have no voltage here? We have no voltage here. What's what's going on with this battery thing? Okay, did I put the batteries in wrong or something? I'm not being a good constituent. Ooh. You hear that? It started starts constituating for a second. Alright. What the constituent is going on here? We got a constituent situation. That doesn't look dirty down in there. Try that again. Maybe the batteries are just clerco twerculated. Switch them around. Right shoulder. There we go. Causing a slowdown. Look, and make that the delay begin at the 90. Echo Park huh. South at Unmax. So that did fix the switch. So I spent all that time tearing that switch apart for nothing. The most 
spend your mornings with us. Right here. $240 higher. Watching. What is Jesus did? And says, he feels great, but then. Okay. Transubstantiation takes place. Transubstantiation? The priest shows the Eucharist to the people. Yeah. I guess you can just spray him. Me look stupid now. Do a little squirt spritzer in here. A little squirt spritzer in here. Okay, all right, well, whatever. I guess I learned something there that maybe try and spray it first, even though you don't think it's going to fix it. But I still think disassembling it and getting that old grease out is better. 